hours-long exodus from the Burning Man Festival in the Nevada desert is still underway with thousands of stranded people finally making their way home. The traffic jam stretched for miles from that muddy mess where attendees were forced to hunker down, but some people stuck around for the main event. Overnight, the giant statue of a man set on fire in the Nevada desert, signaling the end of Burning Man Festival, which became a muddy trap for tens of thousands of people. We're getting out of here. Three months worth of rain fell in just hours on the festival, making roads impassable in the dry Nevada desert for days. Go, 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 go! The mud proving too thick for most vehicles to traverse. Those monsoonal rains changed everything, turning this lake bed into a mud pit that traps everything, RVs, shoes, people. But now the roads have dried out enough that that exodus has begun. It stretches across the horizon, trucks, RVs, bikes, cars. It's a mile and a half long. Yesterday afternoon, organizers finally announced the main route in and out of the festival was finally reopened, creating a miles long traffic jam, saying it could take more than seven hours to reach the road that leads to the nearest town. We had to put uh, trash bags on the shoes in order for us to not, you know, uh, sink into the mud. It, like it feels like uh, five pounds on each leg. Some walking to the nearest paved road five miles away, hoping to hitch a ride. It did take me like 30 minutes to walk, like 40 feet, because it was so, so liquid and the water was sinking, you know, five, six feet in. That was really hard to balance. Celebrity DJ Diplo telling ABC News about his trek with a group of celebrities. Carly Kloss was their leader, and she was said that we walked out with her, and Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber, and Chris Rock, uh, Kaya Gerber, Austin Butler, Michael Kivas was there. The musician and comedian Chris Rock eventually catching a ride with some fans. So we had like 10 of us jumped in the back of his truck and he took us the last two miles. I put on the guest list for eternity for my shows. Now authorities are investigating the death of a 32-year-old man at the festival who died during those torrential rains. Turning now to the impact.